name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Peace be with you is the salutation Jesus gives in all these appearances after the resurrection. So may we know the peace of Christ and bring to this Mass those who are troubled, those who have asked our prayers, and pray that the peace of Christ, which is beyond all understanding, will strengthen their hearts. And for ourselves we pray in our simplicity and our need, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. We are in the octave of Easter, so let us sing, say, the church's hymn of joy. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth peace to people of good will. will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we, you, we glorify, glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we offer this day, O God, you have, who has united the many nations in confessing your name, grant that those reborn in the font of baptism may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Everyone came running towards Peter and John in great excitement to the portico of Solomon, as it is called, where the man was still clinging to them. When Peter saw the people, he addressed them. Why are you so surprised at this? Why are you staring at us as though we had made this man walk by our own power of holiness? You are Israelites, and it is God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our ancestors, who have glorified his servant Jesus, the same Jesus you handed over and then disowned in the presence of Pilate, after Pilate had decided to release him. It was you who accused the Holy One the just one, you, you who demanded the reprieve of the murderer, while you killed the prince of, pe of life and peace. God, however, raised him from the dead, and to the fact we are the witnesses, and it is the name of Jesus which though through faith in it, have brought back the strength of this man, whom you see here, who is well known to you. It is faith that in that name that has restored this man to health, as you can all see. Now I know, brothers, that neither you nor your leaders had any idea what you were really doing. This was the way of God carried out what he had foretold when he said through all his prophets that Christ would suffer. Now you must repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out so that the Lord might send the time of comfort. Then he will send you the Christ he has predestined, that Jesus whom heaven must keep till the universe restoration comes, which God proclaimed, speaking through his holy prophets. Moses, for example, said, The Lord God will raise up a prophet like myself for you, from among your own brothers. You must listen to whatever he tells you, the man who does not listen to the prophet is to be cut off from the people. In fact, all the prophets that have ever spoken from Samuel onwards have predicted these days. You are the heirs of the prophets, the heirs of the covenant God made with our ancestors when he told Abraham, in all your offspring, all the families of the earth will be blessed. It was for you, in the first place, that God raised up his servant and sent him to bless you by turning every one of you from your wicked vice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. What is the man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man, would you care for him? Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples told this story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of the bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and feet. Yes, it is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones, as you can see, I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Their joy was so great that they could stood, but they still could not believe it, and they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant when I said, While I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms has to be fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understanding the scriptures and he said to them, So you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You have these two accounts. One is where the, the man who was cured is still so overcome. Now yesterday it said he went in walking and jumping and praising God as they went with Peter and John into the temple, the man they had healed. And today it tells us he was still clinging to them. So you can imagine the, the uh, transformation of that man, uh, born crippled from birth, and here he is cured and he's leaping around and hugging them and jumping and praising God. The transformation of the resurrection. But also you want to look at the picture of this is Peter and John getting up and then Peter giving his homily. And the, the calm way, they're addressing the crowd and they're assured. Whereas only two or three weeks before, you have the gospel account where they are dumbfounded, they are agitated, they cannot believe what they're seeing when Jesus comes amongst them. The resurrection faith grew on them, but they weren't expecting it. And here they are getting the fright of their lives and suddenly Jesus amongst them uh, and says, peace be to you. Uh, and yet only a few weeks later they have transformed because the Acts of the Apostles is like the sequel to the Gospel of Luke. So it's just a, a, a carrying on of that. It's a sort of, uh, the Gospel is a picture of what happened before and the uh, Acts of the Apostles is what happened afterwards. But the point is, he says to them, peace be with you. And that sign of peace is, is a sign of the presence of Christ amongst us. That if the Christ is present to us, his gift is peace. No matter what the agitation, no matter what the worries, no matter what the concern, no matter what the loss, it is a peace, my peace I give you, my peace I leave you, this peace of the resurrection. And then he says to us, you are witnesses to this. So we pray for the grace to live lives worthily of him. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that he might lead and guide the church faithfully. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those working against COVID-19, for the wisdom of the scientists, for the vigilance of those caring for us, for the health workers, 
caring for the critically ill, for their strength and success. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people we know who are agitated, people recovering from operations, people who have just lost a loved one like a parent, people who have turned to us for their prayers. Let us offer them all up so they be transformed with the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of By the mystery of this water and wine, may we be made sharers in the divine life of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our human life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, be pleased to receive us and accept the sacrifice we offer you. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for I am good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Graciously be pleased, O Lord, to accept the sacrificial gifts we offer joyfully, both for those who have been reborn and in hope of your increased help. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, with Easter joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Amen. your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come Amen. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy and the entire people your Son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with Saint Mary of the Cross, Saint Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. So gathered as we are, even though we're scattered, we're all united by our faith and hope and love. And so gathered we say now the prayer Christ gave us. Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with you. In the words of Jesus, peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
my sisters and brothers to, to make it a spiritual communion. Lord Jesus, we wish we were able to receive you, your body and blood, through the sacrament of the Eucharist. We are denied that grace. We pray for the end of these times that prevent that. Come into our hearts, Lord Jesus, in a spiritual communion. Be there where we may hear you and we may speak to you. Be in our heart of hearts. May we receive you, O Lord. Come to us, Lord Jesus. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring, your, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The mighty heaven and earth. May, heaven, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. And thank you, sisters and brothers. Thank you.